so I just want to talk a little more about making up squeeze pages in WordPress and I've got a basic little squeeze page set up here I got my headline and a spot for an image and my call to action and a spot marked out where the opt-in form would go and the footer links so to add an image is easy enough you just come up here to the add media button and you can either upload from your hard drive or choose something you already have in here and I'll just choose this blurry mind map image so I'm gonna make sure the alignment centered and make sure the size is right and insert it in there so that's easy enough and if you wanna put bullet points instead of an image that's a little more involved but you just get your bullet points set up where you want them and I have this alignment centered right now but depending on the length of the line they're not gonna line up all in a straight row if it's centered they're gonna the actual little dots in front of the lines are, are not you know when when it's the alignment centered they're all gonna be different lengths and then the actual dots won't line up in a straight row and usually for bullet points look better when it's it's all lined up but if you do the alignment hard left then it just bangs it right way over to the side of the page and then it's not in the middle anymore so in order to deal with that what I do one way to deal with it is just to um, here's the block of bullet points so I'll just take a little piece of code and add this in here it's gonna look like this uh, it's so it's a div container so and then I put the end div down here so this is gonna make a container for the bullet points and I'm going to add a, this little bit of code it says margin left and I have it set at 250 pixels and that's just going to move it away from the left hand side of the page by however many pixels you have this set at it and you know you can adjust this to whatever you need so I'll just come back in here and see what that looks like so that's moved it away from the side a little bit I'll probably need to do a little more maybe go 350 so that's gonna just keep moving it over away from the left hand side and you can highlight it and click on the unordered list button to make those little dots next to it or you can add your own image if you have like a small little image of a check mark or or something like that you can just add that in it needs to be pretty small like I don't know 40 pixels maybe even smaller so what you can do is just you get your cursor where you want it add media and I'll just put in this little asterisk and for this one you want to make sure the alignment is set to left and insert that in that's still a little big so I'm gonna make the size I'm just go down to 60 alright so that looks better and then just do that for each of these I don't know if there's probably a quicker way but I'm just gonna do it this way So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to save this and just look at it over here real quick. All right. So that's pretty close to center. I could adjust it a little more. But that looks basically how I want it. So then I can come up to my headline and style this out a little bit. And actually, I'll just take 
all the text. I'm going to select all. I'm going to come to the font family and make it Tahoma. And these selectors I set up in the Ultimate Tiny MCE plugin. That's just a free plugin. You can just go to add add new plugins and search for Ultimate Tiny MCE, and then you can add in these selectors. I'll just make uh, I'll just bold everything for right now. I'm gonna make this bigger. Make this 32. Let me make it that cheesy red color. And then this one, I'll make a little bigger. I'll go 22. Uh, maybe go like that. Okay, I'll just save that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so when I made the headline bigger, it's all kind of squashed together right now. So what I can do for that is I'm going to come into the code view here, into text, and then I'm going to take another little piece of code, this line height, and I'm going to come in here to where it says span, and I'll include this text file so you can just copy what you need out of here if you want to use any of this. Um, I'm going to go after font size right here I'm going to add by line height and then save that so when I come back to check on it there we go it spaced it out a little more just going line height 110 percent but anyway you can make up some nice little squeeze pages just right inside of WordPress by hand just doing it like this